Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dar or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dar is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as a match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE superstar, once known as The Lock, has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere to challenge Noam Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked in to me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this brief rules match with some new hard and quick pin attempt by Noam Dar. And fends off the pinfall. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Sorry, European uppercut. Great win! All the way up, and the big time power bomb. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Corner. This can't be good. Uh -oh, this is not Watch your face. Big corner Alabama slam. This match grinded him down a little. And Dar turns it around. And that holds Dar back. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. And no one goes. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. 
stage in the match. Championship. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. So, that's what you meant by playing it by ear, huh? It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. But bloody hell, I stick it to WWE. <laughs> That's more like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Shore? We need to think of a catchy name to that. We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started.
Yeah, he's odd at singing wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. This could get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go.
We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, jaw riding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. You stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup. Who does that? Hmm, I don't know. You? That was different. We're supposed to be friends. We are. I did this for you whether you realize it now or not. And if I hadn't, you're going to get sued for everything you own. So you're welcome. Out of all the times you've tavished me, this might be the worst. What can I say? I went with my gut. And maybe you don't like it. But I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. Grab your bags. We're ready to roll. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? This really is a whole new chapter for me. So I think it's the perfect time to debut a new look. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you've basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> 